All right, good afternoon. I think uh, just kind of go back to last week. We had our, had our first bye, our, our bye week. Um, came right in the middle of the season, which is obviously a good time. Um, you know, not only the guys that have missed time injury-wise, but also guys that have played uh, that are dinged up and um, that needed need a little bit of a break right there. So it was a good time to have that. Hopefully a lot of the guys got healed up um, last week. And, you know, and I think obviously the, the main one that, that everybody really cares about is Cunningham, and he, he's, he, he got healed up. He's ready to go. Practiced uh, Sunday, um, had a good practice Sunday, <clears throat> and then uh, obviously we'll practice this afternoon. And, and, and be ready to go this week. Um, he's progressed well um, and, um, and, and is ready to go. Obviously, when you're dealing with those kind of injuries, obviously you, you rely on your medical and, and the trainers and um, all, that, all that's been good to go. Um, get to be at home now, finally, for a stretch. Um, get three home, three home games in a row, which is going to be nice. Um, you know, starting with a, a pit, who I think obviously is a, a really good football team, won the ACC last year, have a lot of experience back this year. Um, <clears throat> you know, difference, difference is probably this team this year from Pitt from last year is obviously the quarterback, um, but they did get a transfer from Southern Cal as an outstanding quarterback. Um, can, can, you know, really good passer, um, can, can do that. They did lose the, the, the one receiver, their best receiver, the best receiver, I guess, last year in football um, to Southern Cal. And, you know, but they're still a really good balanced offense. They, 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 you know, throw and run equally as well. I think the strength of their offense is up front. Um, you know, probably the best offensive line that we've, that we've played this year. Um, a lot of experience there. Um, I think it was all five starters back from last year. Um, and, they, and they play probably seven or eight guys up front. And they do a great job with that. We saw, you know, saw what the running back did uh, when he rushed for 320 yards um, in the last game. I'm, what five or six touchdowns uh, against Virginia Tech went off. Um, had an incredible day. Um, he's an outstanding back, leading the ACC in rushing. Um, you know he, he's strong. He can run. He's really fast when he breaks the line of scrimmage. I think that's the difference. You know, you get some shifty backs, or you, you know, you get a, just a home run guy that maybe not good in in the in between the tackles. Uh, he's just a complete back. He's good in between the tackles, but also when he gets to the second level, he can take it to the to the house. And I think that's what he proved last last game, which um, did did some great things um, defensively. To me, a Coach Narduzzi team is going to have a great defense. Um, he, everywhere he's been, whether it's at Michigan State or at Pitt, they, they've always played great defense. Um, <clears throat> the years where they're really really good is when their offense scores a lot of points. That's why they won it last year. Um, but this year, their defense is loaded again. Um, <clears throat> one of the best interior D tackles, I think, out there, number eight. Um, he's an outstanding player, hard to block, undersized, but but extremely quick, um, great with his hands, causes havoc, um, big time player. Um, linebackers are aggressive, number seven, I think, is an outstanding linebacker in, inside there. Um, can play outside, can do inside. He he can he can do a lot. He played against us two years ago, which was was a great player. Um, and then I think in the secondary is where they're really really good as well. 31's an outstanding safety. I think he's got eight pass breakups, maybe three interceptions. Does a wonderful job. Can really, really run. Uh, one of the fastest safeties we've played against. Um, and then they play man-to-man -man on the corners on the outside. So uh, when they do blitz, they're a great blitzing team. They, they put pressure on the offense. They, they're they not coming half-heartedly. They're, they're full board when they're blitzing. Um, it's a very impressive to watch. Um, how they how they how they do that? They've been doing it for years. They're really good at it. They know they know what they're doing on that side of the ball. Um, we have to be very good in our execution offensively. Um, o line has to play well in order to block those guys up front. I think is, is obviously a, a big key. Um, and then you know defensively, I mean you, you certainly got to load up the box to stop the run. I mean you know if, if they if you don't, they'll they'll play big ball and and just you know, run the ball down your throat. Um, we got to do a great job of trying to slow the run game down um, and, and hopefully uh, making them one-dimensional if we can. Special team-wise, they've done a great job of blocking kicks this year. Um, again, aggressive with that. They've, I think they've blocked uh, three kicks and two punts on the season, which is, which is outstanding um, <clears throat> in the special team aspect. So a well-coached team and, you know, obviously a team that's, that's got a lot of confidence Took Tennessee into overtime this year. Um, we all know how good they are, and um, you know they've done a lot of great things. So, looking forward to to playing these guys, and uh, after a week off, and and they had a bye week as well. So so we both 
both have two weeks off as, as we come into this game. Um, you know, looking forward to getting these guys uh, on the field. Questions? Scott, you alluded, alluded to the fact that uh, Malik will be back this week and opening up the office. This is from Gary Graves of the AP, a question he wanted me to ask you. How much does this remind you, his absence remind you of the dimensions he brings to the offense and how much do you appreciate it? Yeah. Well, I think, I think obviously Malik brings a lot to our offense. I mean, especially with his legs. I mean, he certainly can run. He's, I think he's – he may be number two in ACC in rushing right now, um, 91 yards a game. And, I mean, it's, he's rushed for nine touchdowns. I mean, so it, it's, a, it's a dynamic that teams have to defend. We, we know that. Um, <clears throat> you know, when, he, when he's in balance and has great uh, fundamentals, then he's an outstanding passer as well. So he puts a lot of pressure on defenses. And I think, um, you know, we certainly want to have him available to be able to come out and play. And I think, you know, um, I thought Brock last week, you know, minus the first quarter, because obviously first quarter was not very good, but it played outstanding the last three quarters and really ran our offense and did some great things. And, you know, it allows us to know that we've got another uh, viable option to, to be able to play. Um, I think that obviously helps your offense. You get some more experience there. But but to have Malik back, he's played a ton of football for us and um, done a lot of great things. And um, I, think, um, I think hopefully he'll have a great week of practice and be ready to go play a great game this weekend. Uh, you alluded to this a little bit about their, their running back, Abakanda. I'm sure that's yeah. the way you pronounce it. <clears throat> but uh, <clears throat> what makes him dangerous as a runner? You alluded to that a little bit. But how much harder is it in preparation because of his receiving skills as well? Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a dynamic player. You think about he's, he's also a re returner. Um, you know, he can do everything. He's, uh, it, it does make it more difficult. Um, you know, you certainly have to – hit all your gaps in the run game. And again, it starts up front with their O-line. I, I mean, that's the challenge, I think, is, is those guys, when they lock on you, it's hard for you, the guys to get off those blocks. All he needs is a little crease, and then he's going to be able to take the distance. I, I think the, the ability to, to make cuts and to have the vision that he has, but also, again, when he gets to the next level, you fit wrong, it's a touchdown. It, it's a huge difference when you have a back where you can, you can get him down. Maybe it's a 15, 20-yard run, but you're getting him down as opposed to going all the way to the, to the end zone. That, that's huge. So you get them down, you got to play another set of downs, you got a chance to maybe hold them out of the end zone, I think. But if you're taking it all the way to distance, that's the difference in the game. That's what he did last week, I mean, with the six touchdowns, and he blew that game open. That was a tight game, basically probably toward the end, middle of the third, end of the third quarter, really tight game. And then, you know, just in the second half, Virginia Tech did, just couldn't tackle him uh, and, and did a great job and blew the game open. Scott, you talked about <clears throat> your team healing up, but also during the bye week you guys – got out and did a lot of recruiting. Can you speak to the momentum you still have on the recruiting mm -hmm. trail and maybe some yeah. some of the stuff you guys heard last week? Yeah, I th we you know, we did. We took some time. We practiced Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Guys were out uh, Monday, uh, Friday, Saturday of last week, um, you know, going out and seeing our committed guys and, and, and some others as well. But, um, you know, still – you know, it was great to go out and, and be able to see some games, see, see these guys, and still continue this the momentum in recruiting, um, and hopefully maybe pick up another one or two um, as we head down the road here. Um, you know, we'll with these home games coming up, we will be hosting some really good recruits um, here the, over the next few weeks, um, official visits and unofficial visits. I think that'll be big for us. Um, you know, but again, continuing that, continuing the dialogue with all these recruits. We, you know, we, we're talking to them all the all the time, and. You have to be able to do that because we know, you know, it's not completely over uh, until signing day, um, you know, until you get them here. Um, you know, a lot of schools are trying to jockey to get some of our players as you, as you go back and look. And these guys are starting to put some great film out um, from their senior year. And these other schools really want to want to get in on those guys. And I think I think for us, it's all about just continue to build relationships and continue to talk. And, and I think that's what the bye week's about. It's about going out and you know, going to their high schools, watching them play, getting transcripts, and, and really sh you know, showing them that we, they're a huge priority for us, you know, for our program. Scott. Uh, um, Scott, you mentioned obviously Malik and his situation, but then there were others like Tyon, Jalen, Kendrick, mm -hmm. um, I think Adonis, and then Amari had tweeted out that he's going to be out for two games. So just, can you speak to those players and, you know, what their statuses are and mm -hmm. their injuries or if they're injuries? Yeah, I mean, they're all, they're all a little different probably, but um, – you know, I think all those guys are practicing. Um, you know, they they all practice on Sunday. Um, couple of Tyon was still a little bit limited Sunday, um, but everyone else practiced and and was good to go. Um, I think Mitchell, I think now is back fully healthy. 
um, which is good. Um, you know, he's missed, shoot, I feel like he's missed four or five weeks, um, you know, and he brings a lot of experience. You're talking about a guy who started 11 games last year and a uh, very solid back for us. So I think he'll be in the fold this week. Um, you know, and, and, and Duncan's practice Sunday, Tyon practiced. Um, you know, to me, I think Tyon is probably the, um, the still the biggest question mark. I think everybody else will be available and ready to go. Um, yeah, Amari practice. Amari will be, you know, practicing all week again this week. Um, I'm not going to speak on anything he tweeted out, or that type of thing, because um, – I'm not just on, I don't want to speak on that. You know, I think any any kind of personnel adjustments that we need to make, you know, we've always done this on Saturday. If we need to make an adjustment, we will. You guys will know that on Saturday. But uh, to all the injured guys, I think I think we should be good to go. Tyon will know more today, tomorrow, as we head throughout these next two work days. Scott, to follow up a little bit on Cunningham, just real quickly, would, do you have any concerns about him? Is he 100 percent? Do you think or what? Yeah, I think he's 100 uh, percent. You know. I don't have any concerns. We're, the doctors are not going to clear him unless he's 100%. Um, you know, and he's got to play his game. You know, there's no um, – you don't go into, into college football, particularly this level, and, and go in there halfway. I mean, you got to go in there full all, all the way and, and, and do what you do. And that's – you know, he's going to run the ball. He's going to run the offense, run, you know, make, make the plays in the passing game. So, um, no concerns whatsoever. Um, obviously, halfway point. Well, your reflections on the first half and – then your thoughts on the second half, which certainly looks to be pretty challenging. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think the first half, I mean, we, we felt like there was a couple of games that got away that we felt like we had a great chance, opportunity to win. Um, you know, and I, uh, you know, they're very disappointed in, in, those, in those losses. Um, you know, and I think this day and age in college football, it's hard to win. I've, I've said that forever. And it, and it probably is more parity now than it's ever has been. Um, if you look across college football, uh, it's incredible. Um, just, you know, sitting back and Saturday evening and watching a few games and seeing, seeing these guys play. I mean, it's, it's incredible. You know, a, a team loses a guy here. You look at NC State, unfortunately lost their quarterback for the season, you know, and, you know, what an impact it could have on their football team. Um, you know, you can lose one player like that and, you know, and not things don't happen well for you. I think about, you know, Cunningham not playing for us and, you know, we played a backup and we go out and get a, a big win on the road and in conference play. That's huge. That's huge for us because that, there was a lot of teams last week that played their backup quarterback that didn't win. Um, I think the ability to go out there and get those wins is, is, cru is crucial um, when you do have guys that are in backup roles, particularly when you get to this part of the season. As we get in the second half of the season, there's going to be more of that. There's going to be more guys that are going to be out. Teams don't have their, their guys. Um, you know, and next guys have to be able to go in there and, and play. Um, you know, we've kind of been that way in running back. We've played a bunch of different running backs, you know, and, and five guys, really. Um, and you just kind of rotating those guys in, and that, that may happen at other positions as well when you get to this part of the season. Um, so, yeah, second half, very challenging. Uh, you know, all – Six teams have been ranked um, and or are ranked <laughs> at some point. Uh, you know, so I think for us, you go out and you play well. And if you can get some wins against these ranked teams, it's certainly going to help us. Uh, I think it's a great challenge for our guys. Um, we know we got to go out and play great ball. There's, you, can't, you can't not be good at one phase. You have to be really good at all three phases. You have to take care of the ball. And we have to create some turnovers. You know, all these things have to happen in order for us to get these wins. But... Um, that's the way it is for, for most all the college football games that we're looking at nowadays. Um, it, it's extremely competitive, um, you know, I think all over across the country. I don't care what division, you know, what league we're in. Scott, before the Virginia game, you mentioned you were going to be more involved in defensive mm -hmm. meetings as well as take a look at, at Lance's role as well. Are you carrying those over after the bye week or adjusting those at all? Well, I mean, I think, you know, the things that we did last week um, that we'll continue to do is, you know, looking in on the defense to see exactly what they, that I can do to help them. Like I mentioned, um, whatever it was, two weeks ago, um, if I can find something there to help, I, you know, I hope I can. And but but my, my role is still off, off, obviously for offense is the same that it has been since I've been here. Um, you know, that's that's why I'm sitting in the position that I am here at Louisville um, is is calling plays and is running the offense. That's what I enjoy doing. Um, you know, I've got great confidence in Lance and our, in our offensive staff that we've always had. Um, they do an outstanding job, um, you know, but, but the way we, we collaborate and, and do things offensively is the way we've always done it since I've been here. We've had, you know, Dwayne Leffer was offense coordinator. We've had, you know, Lance now. We've had, had other guys throughout the years, um, you know, but, but the way we do it is the way we do it. Um, you know, at the end of the day, somebody's got to call the final play. Um, 
and that's been my role. Um, I enjoy doing that. And but defensively, I'll help Coach B Brown and the rest of the guys on that. If I, anything I can see, which I've done the off season, you know, this last week, we're looking at Pitt's offense and seeing some things that they they do and some things that I can maybe help. But um, so yeah, it'll be the same. With uh, <clears throat> you're coming off a win and going into a bye week and uh, seat like we mentioned, season halfway point. Is there any notion at all, like as far as message to the team, you know? New start, you can't go back and start over, but it's a new start and a, a lot of big opportunities. Was there a <clears throat> kind of a theme like that from the staff? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, we've we started, you know, really, I mean, and we've always done it, but it's a one-game season. Like, everything we have is all on pit. Like, we can't, you can't think about what you did in the past. Now, we got to learn from the things we did, but we can't dwell on it, you know, because now this team, who we've got available this week, um, injury, you know, we look at injuries, you look at all the different things that are happening, you know, Focus everything we can on pit. Come up with a great game plan, offense, defense, kicking. Go out, execute that game plan, and everything's focused on pit. Because we can't worry about, you know, what we got in the future, all the tough games. You can't worry about that. You can't worry about what we did in the past. Try to stay focused. I think that's one of the most difficult things, you know, as you're thinking about, you know, 18 to 22-year-olds is keeping them focused right now, the task at hand. Um, there's so many distractions out there, so many things going on. And right here, right now, you know, be where your feet are. This is the one thing we always tell our guys. Um, and, and really focus on that. Today's practice, Tuesday's practice, is a big day for us, you know, where we're putting the whole game plan in. Today on a Tuesday, we got to go out here and really try to execute that game plan. Um, you know, it's it's just that time of year. You know, again, you, there's a lot of things that could be happening. Man, you know, my hamstrings hurt, my whatever hurt, and, you know, I don't, do I feel like going out today? Well, yeah, we got to go. And uh, I do think that's that was a benefit of the bye. You know, I did, do think our guys did heal up last week, um, got feel fresh. Um, they had Friday off, they had Saturday off, they had, you know, Monday off. So I do think today they'll be feeling the best they felt in some, some time. Uh, just to follow up that win at Virginia, and you may have a different view of it after looking at it again, but it looked like maybe your cleanest win of the season in terms of operation. I don't think you had a procedure penalty. Yeah. Might have be a couple holds, which happened. But from a penalty and operation standpoint, is that is that more like you want to see? And what do you think went into that? improving yeah absolutely I, I thought it was our cleanest we also we didn't have any lost yardage plays I think first time in 2003 that we didn't have any lost yardage plays that's hard <laughs> hard to do um, but it kept us on the, on the sticks you know we're we are we averaged third and five on our third down compared to early in the season we were third and eight third and nine third and ten that was our average so um, I thought that was huge but that speaks to what you're talking about um we played a lot clean, you know, clean game, um, offensively and defensively, uh, you know, and that just keeps you in an opportunity to, to to win those games. Um, we stayed, we just stayed on task, and I thought that was huge. If we continue that, yeah, we've, we've been trying to do that. I think we've we certainly have helped ourselves penalty wise the last few weeks. I thought we've gotten a lot better in that. Um, you know, it still comes down to turnover margin. I think that's the, one of the biggest stats there out there is out there. And we had a couple of turnovers, but we turned them over. You know, and I thought that that part was huge as well. But um, but certainly the, the goal is to play a clean game, um, and 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 not have those penalties. Take care of the football gives you a chance to win. Scott, obviously, when you look at your offense. Virginia's defense, Pittsburgh defense are two different things. Yeah. But are there some things that you saw from that Virginia game that you will like to try to continually incorporate? Yeah, you know, I think each week is different. You know, when you look at the defense we're playing this week compared to, to that defense, uh, you know, I, I, I do, what a thing I liked about that is what I just mentioned. We stayed, we stayed on task there. We, you know, we didn't have many – like, you go back to the BC game where we had some lost yardage plays that knocked us off. You know, you're looking at second and 14. Second, you know, it's, it's a lot harder to get that going back again. Um, I thought we did a much better job in this game of, of having those second and sixes, second and sevens. Now, now that's going to put us in a manageable third down. If you noticed on third down, there were times where we just ran the football and picked up first downs. It was our best third down day that we had. It was because of what we did on the earlier downs. I, I do think that is one thing that we certainly want to be more like. Um, having said that, we're playing a pit defense that um, – it's very aggressive, and uh, you know, man, I I look back 2020 against Pitt. That was maybe our worst offensive performance we've had. Um, it, we got sacked maybe six times. Um, you know, just didn't do anything all day. They they got after us. Um, so we learned a lot that day as well. Um, so whatever we did that day, don't do any of that. Let's let's do something else. Uh, this game, um, I think we had one play 75 yards. Hawkins went went for a big long run. That was about all we did really. 
Um, you know, so so yeah, just take that, throw that away, and, and start over. But um, but but yeah, I, I think that's the biggest thing, and it, it goes to you know it's about playing a clean game. I, I think that's the big thing, um, keeping us on task, so we have those manageable situations. That day at Pitt, our our best third down was third and six. Everything else was third and seven or more. I mean, that's just hard. It's hard to play winning football when you're doing that, um, and they had a lot to do with that. But um, but we have to stay on task and, and not put ourselves in those difficult situations to try to overcome. It, you and in talking about that, the offensive line has played well yeah. the last couple of weeks, and yeah. it seems like even with some injuries, um, Gonzalez and Luke have played. Luke Kander yeah. played a ton. Are you seeing those guys when they're in there that are that, that are really making plays? Yeah, they're doing. Like, and I've said this, you know, both of those guys, Kendra and Gonzalez, are we treat them like starters, whether they start or not. I mean, they're like starters, so they're, they've played a ton of football. We have got some guys dinged, you know, whether it be Renato, Boone, Trevor, Trevor. I mean, all those guys have gotten dinged a little bit, um, you know. So we've kind of rotated, but yeah, they've been solid. I mean, last week. Um, you know, we didn't give, give up any sacks, no, no tackles for loss. Um, that, that's O line play. That's great O line play. And um, there's going to be times where you're gonna, the quarterback's going to get hit. I thought Brock got hit a few times, but the ball's getting released. And uh, we're not taking those lost yardage plays. But a lot of that is the guys up front. Um, huge challenge this week, as I mentioned, uh, number eight, number two, um, great interior defensive linemen. They bring these linebackers, they bring pressure. So we, we have to have a great plan of knowing how to pick these guys up. The other thing is, you can know where they're coming, but you got to block them too. Um, you know, these guys are relentless, and I think that's where they separate themselves maybe to some other teams um, of how relentless they are when they do when they do bring pressures. Is that good? All right. Thanks, guys.